I've seen better days. This is my eight year at the legislature. I've seen better days, better decorum than that right there. Uh, I'm looking forward to us bringing a proposal next Wednesday together, working with my colleagues like Representative Colladin and leadership that, that we can put this behind us. You know, you're not alone, right? Um, the yes. presumptive Republican nominee for president, Donald Trump, believes that this went too far. He was asked about it by reporters. Uh, we'll play that sound bite in case our viewers missed it. Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. As we know, um, State Rep, Call it in. This is a swing state that we're talking about. Your home state of Arizona here. A lot of eyes on this state in the 2024 presidential election. How do you think this latest law will impact voter turnout? Well, thanks for having me on. Look, voter turnout in Arizona is going to be sky high among the Democrats no matter what we do. We know that their radical abortion ballot initiative that would legalize and trying the Constitution abortion up until birth, um, that was going to be their central get out the vote strategy regardless, and that their messaging will be the same regardless of what happens with the pre-statehood law. So as Republicans, we need to understand that this is a decision that's ultimately going to be made by the voters of Arizona, and we need to stick to our principles, the principles of the Republican Party platform on which we were elected that stands for life. Sure. Uh, again, the voters will have their chance to, to be able to weigh in on that and then make their own decision there. It's not going to be enforced. Uh, it is uh, not in play right now. But the vice president, Kamala Harris, is heading to Tucson, Arizona, nevertheless, to campaign on that very issue. She's expected to target Trump and other Republicans like you, uh, claiming that abortion rights are being taken away, that women's rights, reproductive rights are being taken away by Republicans like you, like Trump. Uh, State Rep. Cook, uh, your thoughts on the VP's visit to Tucson, Arizona, today on that very topic. Well, I, I appreciate any, any elected official from 3,000 miles away would come to Arizona and just get close to the border and see what border states are facing. But I'd like to make a point about the topic we're speaking of, about abortion. Women are highly, highly educated and intelligent in the state of Arizona and across this country. They have their great elected leaders. Uh, we, we can just go down a list and litany of corporate uh, managers. They are extremely intelligent. What the issue is here is that you are telling that sex that they're not intelligent enough to make a decision which is right or wrong. And I think that is what's going to drive Republican women to the ballot on this issue is that not that they would do it, but they just don't like government telling them what they can or cannot do in this type of fashion. You know, when this thing was made in the territory, I'm a rancher and we used to hang cattle and horse thieves at this point in time. Women could not vote. Slavery was still legal. As Republicans, I've always said we lead and we're going to bring a package together by Wednesday that is going to fix this thing, or I promise you, uh, others of us will do that. I look forward to the leadership finally coming to the table. And um, State Rep. Colodin, can you talk to us about what this package entails? I mean, is there a proposed week uh, cutoff date that would be presented by Republicans? Well, many pro-life Republicans, such as myself, we could never ethically vote for anything that would legalize abortion. But what we can do, and what I'd like to see, is what's called a conditional enactment. I'd like to see us refer something to the ballot that says, if and only if the Democrats' right. radical initiative passes, then here are the restrictions that we can have on abortion, 15 weeks, um, restrictions for health and safety and regulation of health and safety so that we're not having the back alley abortions that the Democrats are attempting to legalize. I think that's something that could potentially get all Republicans on board and give the voters of Arizona a real choice as to what level of abortion they want, if they want it, or do they want it at all. And then we could truly leave it up to the voters of this state to decide what kind of society they would like to live in.